Welcome everyone. In this video, we're taking a look at how we can export out a drawing towards a printer or a PDF file format. So here I have a project that I've already loaded and I want to export this out to a PDF. To do that, I can go under the file menu and choose the print command. The shortcut for that is Ctrl and P on the keyboard. There is also a shortcut to the print command on the quick access toolbar. You can see it to the far right. I'm going to click on that. Now the print wizard is similar to the save to image one. You will be able to call out elements that you want to include on the print, such as this description box in the top left corner, the legend box, a scale bar and a north sign arrow. Those elements are found under the map options drop down menu. So if you want to not include some of them on the print, then you can just turn those off from here. The scaling of the elements is controlled from the scaling value here. At the moment, this is set to 100%, but we can increase it above 100 if we want to increase the size of the elements or we can decrease it. The scale is also relative to the page size that you are exporting out to. And we can access that from the page setup. So if I click on the page setup button, we can choose a paper size from the drop down menu here. For instance, if I set this to A4 and I press OK, the elements are going to be scaled accordingly. So I may have to go back under the map options and maybe reduce the scale down a bit. You also have three styles to choose from that you can apply to the image before you print it out. The first one is the default colored style. The second one is slightly desaturated. And lastly, we have a fully desaturated style. Finally, you can save out this map configuration to a file if you want to apply it to other projects in the future, just by clicking on the save button under map configuration, choosing a location where you want to save out that configuration and then saving it there. If in the future you want to reuse it, then you can simply go back here under map options and click on the load button and then open up that file. Right next to the page setup button, there is a small drop down menu where you can choose the print quality that you want to export out to. Normally you would want to export out at the highest quality. Now any of the elements that you call out on the image can be repositioned. So for instance, if we want to move the description box from the top left corner to the bottom right corner, we can simply left click, hold and drag on it to reposition it. Similarly, I may want to reposition the north sign to the bottom right corner. If you want to edit the description box, you can simply left click on it and this will allow you to change the title and the description. If for some reason the legend is not being called out in the description box, you can left click on the legend box there and then press the refresh from view button, which is going to refresh the legend. Google Earth is going to automatically detect which features are currently being displayed in the view and it's going to call those out in the legend. From here, you can double click on each feature to give it a unique name. And if you don't want to see some features listed in the legend, you can simply untick the visibility box from here. Now with that done, you can simply print this out by clicking on the print button and connecting to a printer nearby. Or if you want to save it out as a PDF, simply click on the save PDF button. I'm going to save this out to my desktop and call it project and click on save. It may take a while for Google Earth to export it out. The export was completed. I can just double click on the PDF now on my desktop to load it up to preview the project. And with that done, we can wrap it up for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next session.